morning. So we have just set off on a overnight hike up the Coffin Track, which was so far been super beautiful. The, um, they're doing a lot of track maintenance. So as you can see, it's all relatively flat and smooth, which is, which is awesome. And we're um, only heading to Welcome Flat Hut today. So we're gonna take it quite easy. The sign says around seven hours, but I think it'll be maybe around five to six. And then tonight, we can chill in the hot pools and in a nice hut. So we said a little climb down through the forest and it looks like that's a new route and um, because once you get to the bottom the track branches off two ways and then the other side's closed off so here's where the old route would have been and now we're heading back into the forest and this is the damage that's done Coming back onto these gravel paths, you can see how much work goes in by the dot rangers, the volunteers. Like, it's crazy. It's such a well worn path to say that we're kind of in the wilderness. <laughs> following this beautiful track along the rocks by the side of the incredible blue water and the sky is clearing. What a beautiful walk. And through the trees, we have the bluest river ever. Wow. the rocks along the river are pretty sleepy especially when they're wet and um, Jordan's already been on his bum uh, but yeah definitely be careful <laughs> and we've made it to the hut for some lunch and for anyone who wants to camp at this hut so much flat grass epic
easy fight If I don't really like the distance between you and I I wanna pull you close to me And be the only one you see But who am I To keep you by my side When there's so many other guys Who make you happier than I do Easy fight if I still like you Cause I'm not that special And I want the best for you But even if I'm not that kind I wanna be the one you're holding I wanna be the one you're talking to I wanna see you every morning But I'm not the only one Tell you all about it There's just so many things I wanna do But I can't really say it out loud Cause I'm not the only one in love with you And we have arrived at our little mountain hut So we've made it to the hut Currently in the little um, outside boot area And inside Looks huge. I haven't been in there because I'm not taking my shoes off yet, but we are. Uh, we'll see that together. So all of this is dining and kitchen, and we are yet to find the bedrooms. Just like lights. So which room do we want? Glorious shields. We got lighting. The session room. And a row. Wow. Which room do you want? Yes. So this is by far the biggest hut we've ever stayed in. We're pretty much all gonna get a room to ourselves today because there's three couples, four rooms, and each room holds about eight or nine people, which is crazy. So we're gonna stay in this room. They're all pretty similar. Um, the other ones, so we've got two with the triangle window, and then the other ones are slightly more raised up with these two square windows. But uh, mad, so loud. Yeah, now I'm gonna go out and explore the hot pools. And back down the stairs. And here they are. With the hut being as big as it is, and these hot pools just being here, it literally feels like we're on holiday. It's mad. So mad. So we're starting off with the mildest one. This one behind is like a pretty hot bath, like it stings your feet when you get in. And the one behind it we won't be going in because that one's bubbling. One, two, three. Just spent a bit of time in the hot walls, feeling incredible. I'm not sure I come out clean or dirty yet, because it was quite um, silty at the bottom, but uh, yeah, it feels so good. Time to get some food, because we're pretty hungry now, but the fact that we're in this hut, in the middle of the mountains, and just been in a hot pool, is mad. It's so mad. Good morning. Every little thing I do 
Good morning. So we have not long left for hut. Just eating an OSM for breakfast. And um, we are on our way back down the same track. So we just wanted like kind of a chill overnight hike. Nothing too crazy. After all the hiking that we've been doing recently. We it was time for a bit of a break. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're just doing the overnight. You can carry on to Douglas Rock Hut, I'm pretty sure it's called. And then I was looking at a map this morning and it seems like, I'm not sure if you have to have mountaineering skills, but you could potentially go over the ridge and the Hooker Valley track would be on the other side, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you carry on, you would definitely see Mount Cook. I'm not sure how technical the track is. I know to Douglas Rock. I think it's pretty similar to this one, but there's um, a lot more slips. So it's definitely more time consuming. But yeah, on our way back to the van. Gonna be another chill day. Took us around five and a half hours yesterday. It's not too bad. So, yeah. Let's see, I don't know, I'm so out of breath. We had like the tiniest hill to climb this morning. So, uh, yeah. We'll catch you later. When I think about you, like the times you call it. Carrying on. No one's break today. Not yet. So about an hour and a half, two hours back from the car park. Jordan's just gone for a swim, pretty fresh. But uh, it's a beautiful day again, which is mad to see her on the west coast. Um, couldn't have been eating my sunflies though. But apart from that, this view, it's epic. Back past the bluest water we've ever seen again. Blue sky in the mountains. Clouds by the coast. Mountains. Coast. Last final. Little hill until lunchtime. Yay! The amount of effort that goes into these tracks is unreal. And we've made it back to the end of the track. We're back! So we arrived back at the van in pretty good time. I think it took us around five hours to get back. It's definitely a lot uh, greyer over this side. Um, so we're gonna go and grab some food, head to Fox Glacier, I think. And uh, yeah, I think chips and dips, uh, chips and dip is calling, and a coffee, and 
Yeah, that's it. <laughs>